Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly, and let's take a look at the rows function in Excel. Now, this one is a is is a plural with the s in the end. So let's see how this works. So the rows function is asking you for an array. Array means a set of cells. So let's say I pick up these cells. Now, if you take a look from G6 to H14, from G, from 6 till 14, how many rows do you have? So this is one, two, three. I think you have about uh, eight or nine rows. This is going to give you number nine. Why? Because in the array that you have selected, you have nine rows in the array. The column doesn't matter. You can have two or four or five or just one column doesn't really matter but the rows function is just going to count the number of rows in the array now one more application of this is that you can generate serial numbers with the rows function so i'm going to write equals to rows and it's asking me for an array the only input so i'm going to say equals to let's say e12 to e12 that means from this cell till this cell so this is just one cell it's going to give me number one and what I will do is I will lock the first part of the array by pressing the F4 key. Now when I drag this down, this 12 will change to 13, but this 12 will not change. So the rows will kind of keep on increasing to give you like a serial number increasing order. So when I reach till here, the E12 remains static, but this has become E17. So you have six rows in the rows function. So this is giving you six. Well, that was a rose function. I hope you like that. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or on YouTube and read all the blogs, tips, hacks on goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.